Hey guys, it's Melly. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit of my setup. Um, I am outside in my backyard, so let me show you guys. And this is kind of what I'm thinking for doing of doing for the market. So we'll see. Um, let me flip you guys around. So I ended up doing like my purple, white, and then the purple, and then kind of like wooden colors. So. I went ahead and did my chickens here, my dinos on top, and then my froggies at the bottom. I also have a bunch of hermit crabs, all of my elephants, which you guys know that elephant pattern is from Nux underscore hooks. This dino pattern is from Betta B on Etsy. Chicken pattern is the Oak and Marlowe. This is by Cozy Wonders Crochet. Then we have these cute little pumpkin boys that are from Stitches by Patti. This one is by Old Soul Crochet Co. I think on YouTube. We have these cute little posies. And then this one is, so the posies are from Refined Vibes. This one is Ashlyn Crochet's. Um, she has a Kofi or Kofi. Uh, it is a Loch Ness monster. Let me show you the overview. And then we move on. Have this cute little display with a leggy froggy. I have this cute, this one's a free pattern on Instagram. It's a cute little daisy, daisy girl or daisy boy. Have a bunch of Stitch Sister Co. fishes. Have an axolotl, a chicken, little owl. This is my mom stuff. Like guys, look at this. She makes all these beautiful little keychain hats. They're so adorable. She makes these little stars as well. So we'll be selling them at the market as well. So I just put them in this little bin. Then she made a couple of earrings, so they're on this little display. I have a little penguin that kind of looks like a bird. And then we come over here and we have all the pastels, which a lot of these are Love Bugs by Celestial CB Crochet on Instagram. We have a cute little free pug pattern over here. We have a little pig. We have my beautiful little puffer fishes that are for free on, it's a free pattern on my Instagram. We have a little flower girl, that frog, that heart frog. There's a ton of little things there. My mom also makes scrunchies, so we have a ton of scrunchies here. And then we come to the big, big mama. I have my huge um, plush in here. Hopefully it'll attract people. And then I have, let's just say it's a little yellow bear with a red, with a red shirt on. And then Patti had the idea of putting a frog on the chair, which is so cute. I had to make sure Miss um, Carrie, I think her name was Carrie, the kangaroo, and her little Joey had a great display. So I sure did put them bright and like kind of cornered, but it has its own little display. She's on a wheelbarrow, which is so cute. Look at the wheelbarrow. So we got a big wheelbarrow and a small one. I thought that was adorable. I don't know if I'm going to keep the milk and cookies there, but they're there for now. I have this cute little pop-up little birdie, but I stuffed it. I need to unstuff it for it to be poppable. Then we go on to this little basket. This basket has nothing but like my veggies and like foods. I did a keychain series of food little things, so this is all little foods I think I'll probably just price them all. I know this one's huge but I'll probably just price them all the same because honestly I'm too lazy to be pricing them individually <laughs> and then we have of course my cute little elephants we have more of my cute little elephants I had to make them the center of attention so as soon as you come into my booth and I'll do an overview whenever I'm done but as soon as you come into my booth you see these cute little elephants 
then we have these adorable fishes they are so cute there are several of them different colors we have a little chameleon here in orange which is random and a little alien which is random and I don't think that fish really fits the vibe that I wanted to go for but it's there hopefully it sells and then I have this cute little duck right here we have this little ladder that has my mom also does um, I guess like doilies I don't know what they're called but I think they're doilies we have the little sock monkeys then we go over here we have a ton of axolotls that that little chicken nugget doesn't an avocado don't need to go there but we will fix it later then instead of bees because I don't really have bees I don't really make bees I have a bunch of frogs a turtle up there and a chicken it's extremely random and then over here I have a ton of those chickens that I made I have a bat a leggy froggy and a flower from stitches by Patti is that flower I have more chickens here I have an angry cat two ghosts which I don't know I'm probably not going to display them and then up here is solely like my cute little beavers I have a penguin, some mushies, my pufferfish pattern again, Dandy the Lion, which is a free pattern on Instagram. We have a sour kid there, very cute in his little tub. Then we go over here to these storage containers. We have a ton, a ton of mushy boys. I have so many. You're going to you're going to see this isn't the only display that has mushy boys. But we'll go through the shelf first. Mushy boys, we have crabs, whales, octos. We have giraffes. Those are from Stitches by Patti. We have an axolotl by himself or herself back here. We have a jellyfish, some mermaids, beautiful giraffe, some more little chickens. And then we scroll down. We have these beautiful little dinos. They're like cookies and cream, mint chocolate chip. We have dragons, jellyfishes, more mushies. We have a highland cow. <laughs> That's the only acrylic thing. Then we have another giraffe, a cute little owl, and then my mom's like doilies. Then we have whales, fish, the mouse and a little shroom that that garlic knot is from um stitches by Patti as well we have this beautiful elephant by nux underscore hooks we have more octos i doubt i'm gonna put this little snowman here but i put him here just for now we have the adorable dragons these are from um rainbow door shop we have a caterpillar, can't remember who it's from, octos, whales, a ton more mushy boys. And then I also have these on keychains, the little cherries and the chickens. And then we have the octos. We have a giraffe up here. We have another pufferfish and then we have the sleepy bear, so beautiful. And then we're back this way. I also wanna note that I have a bin full of like items on the left and right side that are kind of discounted. I didn't like them one way or another, so. And a lot of them are like October makes. Um, this one's very holy, so of course I'm not gonna sell this um, at a regular price. This astronaut, I hate it the way it came out. It does not look cute. Don't like this hummingbird at all. This one's very holy. I didn't use the right hook. I have another ghost. I have, you guys, if y'all are OGs, y'all know that I have this <laughs> mallard duck that I don't like. Um, I have this octo that is not cute to me. So, a ton of stuff that... I don't want to put up here so that it will be in a bin or in a basket which I do have a basket and then I have my cute little rug which 
I need a bigger rug. I am also waiting on my banner to get here, which it should get here today. So let me give you guys an overview of everything. We're going to start on this side. Guys, I feel like this entire video, I literally look like a hot freaking mess, but I'm still outside. I'm currently trying to work on getting all these plushies priced before the sun goes down. I mean, technically I could do everything inside, but I'd rather like price them, throw them in the bin. So I figured I'd let you guys see a little bit of it. Um, I need to tag them all so I need to grab all my tagging stuff and then the other thing is I got my banner and I got my cards which they are so cute guys let me show you I got them off of Vistaprint Ooh, I got a little thing that says $25 off girl I'm gonna use that later but these are my cards and they look exactly like my banner and it just says Melly inspired crochet and then it says handmade plushies and on the back, it has my little QR code. It says connect with me. And then this little part over here says, I hope you enjoy your plushie as much as I enjoyed making it. It has a little yarn ball. And then underneath it says, thank you for shopping small. Very, very cute. You know, nothing over the top. I do love these. I think they represent my plushies to the T. I think they're so adorable. I love mint and purple lavender. I think I said it. I'm having a hard time putting this banner up. I think I should have just went with a six by, I think it's a six by four. Yeah, maybe. I think I went with a six by eight and I should have done like a size smaller. I should have done the one that Patti told me to get and I didn't because I, wa I was like, well, I'm not going to put it on my, like down here, you know how people have it down here. Um, I wanted to put it across on top and I wanted everybody to see it from like, if you're on the opposite end, you can, you can scan my QR code and you can follow me. Well, it didn't quite work out that way because the bigger the banner, of course, it's not going to show at the bottom because your displays are in the way. So guess what? This is what my banner looks like. So, I mean, you can see the QR code in the connect with me, I think. But you can't see the part that says handmade plushies, which is very devastating to me because how are people going to, I mean, I guess people are going to know what you are, what you are because hence you have all, all your stuff on your, um, on your tables i don't know how important is that like i'm like butthurt because you can't see my entire banner and so my dad's really trying to figure out a way to like hoist it up so it's high enough on the tent so everybody can read my banner he's so sweet for doing that but i don't know if it's even worth it let me know down in the comments do you guys like who do markets and have banners are you able to see your entire banner or you just you're just like nah, whatever you can see most of it and you're happy with that and satisfied and am i just being like ocd about it i just need to know literally let me grab all this stuff so i can start marking some some of these um plushies i don't even know what to price them because towards like probably like six months ago or maybe like eight months ago i stopped I stopped using my track time pro to see how long I was taking on making all of these plushies. So I literally have no concept of how long any of these plushies took. Kind of in my head I have like a generalized number. So I don't even know how to accurately price them. I guess I'm just going to go by size and by what I remember if they were like 
extremely hard to make or if the pattern was difficult the size of the plushie and generally what I remember if I took forever to make it so those couple of things and then of course I always add like plus eight dollars kind of roughly for the yarn the polyfill and the safety eyes so um we will see what i come up with i'm gonna take you guys along this journey i don't know how much sunlight i'm gonna have left probably 30 minutes so have fun watching me like try to finagle my way through this because i have no clue no concept so let's do this by the way i don't know if i showed you guys let me show you what i'm using to price them duh i don't even think i told showed you look i just dropped a ton of them okay so my dad's been a sweetheart and he's been cutting this like making holes for them so i have these little cards they were literally like this he cut them or no they were like this i'm sorry they were like this he cut them and he made the holes on the top and then it just has my logo on them you put the price which i have stickers little square stickers to put on here so I'm not like having to like mess up these cards if I end up changing the price I just put another sticker on top of the sticker the way I'm going to hook them up to my plushies is with these little guys so it's a little string and it has like a little clip on and once you clip it on you cannot take it off unless you cut it off so it's gonna be so I to me it's gonna be realistic I did buy like a one of those tagging guns but some of the plushie well most of the plushies the holes are too big and it just slips right out so i figured this would be the next best thing so this is what we're using and i'm very excited so let's go ahead and start i do need to take a picture for um my thumbnail so all right we did one of those that's fine i'm going to need to take a picture of the entire setup before it gets extremely dark so let me go ahead and do that real quick and i'll be right back okay i finally got my banner up so let me show you guys what it looks like entire with its entirety I love the way it looks. 